Hello and welcome. This is Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub. So in uh, today's video, we are going to talk about very important interview question. And this question is related to the gas chromatography. So for gas chromatography, if you are using flame ionization detector, then you must have used uh, hydrogen as a fuel and air as a combustion gas. Now it is not the air, but you must have seen that the cylinder labeled as a zero air. So what is mean by zero air? What is the difference between normal air and the zero air? Uh, this is the question. And the next one can be why it is really required in case of uh, gas chromatography with FID uh, detector. So before we go into the question, we need to understand what is mean by FID or what is the working principle of the FID? Because once you understand this working principle, uh, it will help you to understand the consequences uh, why just air cannot be used as a combustion gas. So here is a brief understanding about the operating principle of the FID. So these are the four points uh, which are very important and you must consider them. The first one is sample undergo combustion in the flame and produces ions. So flame ionization detector so whatever sample eludes out of the column and enters into a detector that is FID uh, it undergoes combustion due to the presence of the flame and the flame produces the ions out of the sample so the cations generated during the combustion you know in the flame is responsible for producing the signal the FID respond to organic compound containing carbon hydrogen bonds or the hydrocarbons. Now this is very specific detector which predominantly respond to the carbon hydrogen containing compound or the hydrocarbons. It can be let us say methanol contains carbon hydrogen bond, ethanol contains carbon hydrogen bond. So these organic compounds FID responds very well. And the last point is what is the response of the FID? So the response of FID is directly proportional to the ionizable carbon molecules present in a sample. That means in case if you want to compare the response of uh, methanol and ethanol, which compound will give the more response? Obviously ethanol as compared to methanol. Why? Because the ethanol contain twice of the carbon as compared to methanol. So this is the way the FID works. So the, the point to be noted over here, you know, what you must understand that the FID give the response to the hydrocarbons. FID give the response to the hydrocarbons. And here is the catch. And I will explain you why this point is so important. So this question looks very easy. But you know, if you do not uh, think about it, you will never come to know what is the, why the zero air is used and what is meant by zero air. So let us understand, you know, what happens if the air used uh, to create a flame contain hydrocarbons. It contains hydrocarbons. So if you understand clearly, uh, according to the point number three, what is the point number three? FID respond to organic compound containing carbon and hydrogen bond means the organic compounds which are hydrocarbons they give a very good response to the FID uh, detector so in case if your zero if your air contain the hydrocarbon what is going to happen the air itself the air itself can give the response because there are presence of hydrocarbon and the interference the background noise will come from the detector itself because of the hydrocarbon present into the air. So very important point here to be noted that the whatever gas you use should not contain any kind of hydrocarbons. And as the quantity of air is too much, we use in terms of 400 ml, 350 ml per minute. It's a very huge quantity of this air. And air can contribute significantly to the detector noise if that air contains hydrocarbon. 
so you must have understood that okay now i must use air which should not contain hydrocarbon now what is the link between uh, hydrocarbons and the zero air so zero air stands for what now there is a zero and then there is air so air containing something zero and what is that zero quantity it is the hydrocarbons quantity means if your air does not contain hydrocarbon that air is called as the zero air now practically is it possible to have the air with zero hydrocarbons may not and hence there is a uh, limit given to it air containing less than 0.1 ppm hydrocarbons is called as the zero air so i hope you must have now understood uh, what is zero air and why it is required for your gc analysis if detection technique is flame ionization so in case if you want to receive such kind of very useful informative uh, information you can join the pharma growth hub so there is a link given in the description click on to the link and join the pharma growth hub whatsapp group thank you so much